know if you can see these big indentations in the, in the beach gravel here. I'm going up there, but it's bare. And it's peeled and headed up through there. And there's our camp. Well, good morning. We survived the night here, and uh, Austin woke me up. I think it was around 1:30 or so, and there were heavy footsteps right behind the tent. Whether it was a bear or a moose, we don't know. What time did those noises wake you up last night? About 1:45 a.m. What was it? Don't know. What did it sound like? Sasquatch, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a beautiful day today. We've got about eight miles to go down river to extraction. And uh, we're going to break camp and get packed up and moving down the river here in a minute. There's still snow on top of the mountains. And we passed snow coming in as well. But it's beautiful scenery. This river is just crystal clear. I'll tell you what'll wake you up quicker than a cup of coffee in the morning. It's doing an old-fashioned bath in that river, which I just did. And not the full plunge, but I am fully awake after that. I thought I'd let you see what we're using for a fly rod for those that are viewing that are interested. Uh, this particular rod is a seven piece, eight and a half foot five weight. It's called an Orvis Frequent Flyer. And you did hear me right when I said seven piece. It folds down into a little kit that you can put in a carry on. And then for a reel, I've got an Orvis CFO here and a five weight weight forward line. I think 20, <clears throat> maybe 21 grayling on this yesterday. And they're all pretty healthy as you're seeing in the pictures. Anyway, we'll keep you going here on the uh, adventure with some more video. Enjoy. We hopped out and we're walking down through here. In this riffle, the water's pretty shallow. And as you can hear, there are some rocks that are sticking up. Because all you have to do is get a rock and go sideways. And people underestimate the current of the water. Flip their canoes, lose their gear, get wet. All of which I have no desire to do today. If you're in a canoe, waders are a great call for doing what we're doing today when we need to get out, in and out of this boat, walk it, portage it, whatever we're doing. Just make sure you've got a belt snug so that no water, if you were to fall in, you don't want any water getting in those waders. And uh, so we're back at it after going down through that riffle. Nice one. Hit that muddler middle. Shoulders on him.
that's a nice grilling. Just swallow that way. Just for those of you that don't know, the state record's 22 inches. So these are beautiful grayling. Incredible dorsal fin. Let me get him back in the water. That's how you take a fly out of a fish's mouth under a log. Beautiful. Well, here we are on the final stretch. Our vehicle is parked down here in this village just ahead of us. So 15 miles. We're down to the last less than a mile. One of the greatest canoeing trips I've ever had. The town of Council, Alaska. Plane just landed on the road right in front of us. 